Hey everybody, welcome back. Brand new in the cheapo spotlight. Yes, been a while. Astro AI back on the channel. Heck, the last Astro AI video I did was for this little one, the AM33D. And I gotta say, that was a really popular video. Check it out in the link below. One of my most popular videos, actually. Anyway, we're not here about the AM33D. No, instead today we're here for the all new MUS 4KRD, who names these things anyway, Smart Digital Multimeter from Astro AI. 4,000 count cheapo, here we go. Okay, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Came in from Amazon, next day shipping Amazon Prime, always gotta love that. Hey, look at this, right off the get-go, we got a cool little carry-on bag, or a carry case, Astro AI. And it uh, looks like they, uh, yeah, interesting way to do the A over here. But uh, cool, cool. Okay, well, let's unzip it. Unzip it. And there we are. There is the little Astro AI. Got the default test leads. A couple of Duracell, aka Durahell batteries. And... Uh, Seeing this more and more now, so the meter is actually wrapped in plastic, sealed in plastic. So, gotta rip it open. And uh, bada boom, bada bing, there we are. Right behind the meter is our little Astro AI manual, as well as a uh, what do we got here? A thank you, thank you from Astro AI. You're welcome, most welcome. Oh, it is a light meter, light, 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 4,000 count smart meter. A uh, tiny little display on it by the looks of it. And uh, truth be told, it does not do current. Now this is geared towards your first time multimeter user, your novice multimeter user. So those new users are who this meter is geared towards. But heck, you know what? Not just new users need smart, cheap multimeters. So heck, end of the day, I think this is for anybody who wants a quick uh, solution that doesn't require current because it doesn't do current. So yeah, anyway, take a quick peek. We've got that removable rubberized boot. And all push buttons, no rotary selector, all push buttons. Nice soft touch buttons, actually. So, I mean, you know, first things first, it seems to be half decent. I mean, it's a cheapo after all, but uh, yeah, I gotta like, gotta like, let's get rid of that uh, display protector. And uh, let's uh, put the batteries in, get this bad boy going. Oddly enough, you would not be surprised but you wouldn't believe the amount of people that ask me, hey, Darren, how do I put the batteries in this multimeter? Darren, how do I take off the boot? Darren, Darren, Darren. Okay, I don't mind the questions, but, uh, you know, it ain't that difficult, right? You get a screwdriver, usually a Phillips is going to do the trick. And uh, usually you have one screw in the back, and you unscrew like so. And you should have a nice little opening for your batteries. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Darren, how do I get the back off once I unscrew it? That's a good question. Oh, anyway, that's how you do it. You bang the heck out of it. Come on, Astro AI. It should be a little clip or something to make it easier. Anyway, um, right off the get-go, we have a nice brass threaded insert over here, so the wear and tear will be minimal when you're putting the batteries in. And uh, what do we have here? Two triple A batteries, two triple A's. Okay, I have a couple of lithium rechargeables here I'm going to put in the meter. Like so. And you heard that little beep, which means we are in business. As far as putting the batteries in. So there you go. Nothing to it, really. All right, so batteries are in. Flip it around, and it's already turned on. Basic looking display here, backlight, and you can see right off the get-go, it boots up into auto mode. So we have volts AC, volts DC, resistance and continuity. That's it, folks. That's it in terms of test measurement. Of course, you have your NCV, your non-contact voltage, and you have your flashlight as well as your backlight. It is a very, very basic meter in terms of functionality. And for new people starting out or for somebody who just needs a quick thing to test their battery with, this will do just fine. Back to the case for a minute. It really doesn't have much in the way of padding. So, uh, but that being said, it's a case nonetheless. And, you know, that's that's usually a good thing. Okay, so here are the test leads. Let's take a quick peek. Um, 
pointy, pointy, pointy. Good finger guards on the end. Nice shrouding as well. All to, you know, I mean, they're cheap test lights, right? Cheap, eh, they're cheap test leads, right? So, you know, end of the day, I mean, I'm not going to complain, really. Yes, you can get better test leads. That goes without saying. Your test leads, um, you know, chances are it might be worth more than the meter. Now, that being said, you can still get decent cheap test leads pick these ones up off of aliexpress uh they are really really nice like we're talking six seven bucks um uh, that was like a couple of weeks ago and you know it's pretty hard to beat look at the t tips on these i believe these are r15s um yeah so you know you don't have to spend a fortune to get uber good test leads you know you can still get decent leads really good leads for not a lot of money so yeah they're not pro bastards but hey for six seven bucks they're really sweet anyway let's get back to the uh, oh by the way if you didn't see the video on the zebu check it out 17b pro one of my favorite multimeters of 2025 and i gotta say this thing just kicks the llama's butt what a great cheapo multimeter anyway Back to the Astro AI. So here we are in a nutshell. Right away, I've noticed that backlight stays on. It has not turned off. So uh, that's a good thing. Thank you for listening to us, Astro AI, all these years. Quick look at DC Precision. 5.00 volts is what we want to see with this 4,000 count display. And we're seeing 5.01, which is most definitely in spec. Speaking of specs take a quick peek at the instruction manual and see what we're looking at in terms of ratings if i can find it here we go so detailed specifications in the dc voltage range we're looking at one percent plus or minus five digits so yeah it's not going to be super uber uh, high accuracy going on here but end of the day for your basic dc voltage needs it'll do just fine we're out in AC volts right now. 120.3 volts coming in. There you go. By the way, we don't have any of those nice uh, holders for the test leads, so you can't really one-hand these outlets when you're testing them. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. And just in case you're wondering, there's no manual mode with the little Astro AI. No manual mode whatsoever. I'm still looking at the name of this thing. MUS 4KRD. Why? Why? What kind of name is that? Anyway, uh, yeah, so no manual mode, strictly auto. So you will have to let the meter decide what to do. So volts AC, volts DC, resistance, continuity, all determined by the multimeter itself. And speaking of resistance, here we are. 100 ohm precision resistor coming in at 0 0.097 of an ohm. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if we have any resistance or rel on these test leads. And surprisingly, we don't. So test leads are not going to give us any errors uh, when doing tests such as this resistance. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Quick test of the auto range in resistance mode. Some smart meters tend to be a little on the slow side, a little laggy when it comes to measuring resistance. Hopefully that's not the case with this little Astro AI. Let's find out. Going up to one meg, bada boom, bada bing. It's thinking, what's taking so long? There we are, one meg, three meg ohm, six meg ohm, coming in at 6.3, finally 10 mega ohm, 9.96, not too shabby. Let's try 100K. A little flutter in the beginning till it eventually gets there. 1.3K, 1.6, and finally 2 mega ohm. Yeah, so, you know, all in all, it is pretty fast to range in auto mode. Good stuff. Back of the meter, we have a little flashlight. Uh, not that bright, but I mean, hey, if you're in the dark, it probably will do the trick. Nice thing is, though, when you turn the backlight on, uh, you're not turning on the display light, which you see a lot in the cheapo realm. So that's good. That's good. Plus, uh, well, this is not so good. We don't have any tilt stand on the meter. No tilt stand. No tilt stand. So just letting you know, no tilt stand, no hanging strap, nothing. No magnet, nothing. Ah.
quick look on the inside. Teardown time it is. And wow, there's really not much to this little Astro AI. First thing catches the eye is, yeah, it's actually the uh, rebranded Habotest HT109. So there you go. Good plastics overall. Nice PVC. Here's the connectors that make contact uh, with the PCB itself. Uh, you know, for a cheap meter, I mean, the plastics are relatively good. That being said, it is nonetheless sparse. I mean, check it out. Check it out. Let's zoom in and not much really going on, is there? Uh, we have our split variety jacks, hand soldered, of course. Nice soldering. Uh, clean board, no flux, no PCB uh, residue, what have you. Just clean, clean, clean. Um, we have a resistor array, a couple of diodes. Not much in input protection, is there? No, but I mean, it does do current. Maybe to see a PTC would have been nice, but uh, it really has next to no input protection whatsoever. So keep it on household mains and you'll be just fine. Cobbed IC. Here we have some factory headers for calibration. And of course, over at the top, we have our speaker piezo. We have our LED flashlight as well as that continuity indicator. Is the NCV non contact voltage filament. So that is what is giving us pretty decent NCV, all things considered. So it is embedded into the PCB itself. No weird wires hanging around. A couple of springs here that make contact with the back of the unit so um with that part of the unit to give it the juice so anyway long story short basic no frills bargain basement you know looks like an 830 kind of pcb doesn't it uh they've been around forever that is a really small and actually rather thin pcb as well but obviously made to a cost point and it is definitely in the cheaper zone. Okay, but not least continuity mode. Now I'm not gonna bother with the Pro Masters just because I mean continuity with a smart meter, auto ranging, uh, yeah, it's usually pretty slow. Anyway, here we go. Standard default test leads, three, two, one. Yeah, so as always you have that lag and that's just normal. I mean that relay has to kick in. It's just, yeah, it's slow. It's slow. Do have a cool, nice little LED though, but it's slow. Okay, okay, I hear you. You want to see the Probe Masters? Here you go, Probe Masters. No difference. Still painfully slow. Maybe a tad louder, but that's about it. Might be slow, but it is definitely loud at eighty point eight decibels. Woo hoo! Closing thoughts on the Astro AI MUS 4KRD. What a horrible name. Multimeter. Hey, it's not a bad little first time multimeter. You know what? Other than the name, this thing really doesn't suck at all. Has all the basics you're gonna need as a first time multimeter owner. You got your volts AC, your volts DC, your continuity, and you've even got the NCV. Hey, what more can you ask for when you're stepping into the multimeter realm? And the cheaper realm at that, like 25 bucks Canadian, you can't go wrong. 18 euros, you know, I don't know, 16 US, whatever it is, it's definitely cheap, it's cheap. Uh, is it good enough? Is it good enough? Does it compete with others out there? Well, it's kind of in a weird, you know, segment of the multimeter market. I think it'll do well. It does more than the uber popular AM33D, which was just phenomenally popular for Astro AI. So maybe in this case, it'll be interesting to see. It's a good multimeter. It does what you need it to do. It doesn't do current. It doesn't do a whole a lot of extras. And it's not the most accurate. But end of day, it's for a beginner or just somebody wants to throw one in the toolbox for that emergency. It'll do the trick. The Astro AI MUS 4KRD gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Really wish it had a tilt stand or at least a magnetic backing. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one. Keep on testing.